Welcome everybody to part two of the 24 hour park. We already built a one hour park and this is what it turned out like. And now we're on part two of building the 24 hour park. So here we go. I accidentally thought this is a fantasy theme, but it's actually supposed to be a fairy tale theme. I feel like it still works out though. Like I can just keep it like this, just make it a fairy tale theme. Not too hard. I found a ton of pictures on like fantasy themes. And so now I have to do the exact same thing, but for fairy tale themes. Oh my goodness, this is gonna take so long. Usually when I do some research like this, it takes me like half an hour to find some really good pictures of what I actually wanna build. So I'll be back. I actually have an insane idea. Since fairy details are basically stories they're usually like written in a book what we could do is make the entrance like a book wouldn't that be insane if we made the entrance literally a book so you're walking through a book we're gonna start with that that's the first thing we're gonna build and then we're actually gonna search some stuff up and get some reference pictures because kizzy without reference pictures cannot build i need some reference pictures i might even get some reference pictures for the book if i'm being completely honest it's gonna be i'd say a pretty big book like that big maybe a little bigger and then there's gonna be a door in there and then the other side of the book is gonna be like right here kind of like that right there i feel like that's good enough and we'll paint these white because it's the pages of the book oh i like the ice it makes it look like it's a crumbled paper yes yep okay looking good so far oh and what if we just write once upon a time right here okay we actually might need to make an image for that because that's that's a lot of letters guys i'm not making a whole thing once upon a time out of primitives i'd be here for the next 24 hours if i were to do that so photoshop time okay so this is our canvas right here to write once upon a time here we go let's get our text and get some really fairy tale-y kind of text once upon oh upon a time why did I struggle so much there? Okay, let's see. What is the best font here? There's probably one called Fairy Tale, isn't there? Something like that. I love that, but let's keep looking. This one isn't bad either. I like this one too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This one's just way too much. Not that one. Okay, kind of creepy. Absolutely not. What in the world even is this one? You know what? I don't hate this one that much, but it's still bad. This one's not bad either. Oh, that one's nice. I actually think I might go with this one. Okay, it's up to either this one, this one. Yeah, I think this is the winner winner right here. All right. Oh, and we got to add the three dots as well. Once upon a time, dot, dot, dot. Okay, let's plug it in now. Yes. Yup. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, are we like done here? Like, I don't know what else we should do. I feel like I need something else. Oh, we should add some smoke right here. Yeah, that is 100% needed. Kind of like that. Okay. Okay, time to make the fairy tale, guys. Oh, I guess I do have to like look up some reference pictures. Be right back. Okay, here's my plan. What if we make some kind of castle thingy thing over here? And then we make like still what I was planning here, like a really cool bridge, like full of vegetation. And basically this is all of the forest and it's going to be like a really weird fantasy kind of forest. So I think I'm just going to start over here with all of the foresty stuff. Let's do this thing. And we should probably change the path color to what, like grass? I don't know. What if we change it to like wooden planks? I guess that works. So first of all, I want to make this waterfall thing. It's going to look amazing. Okay, guys, we're going to make it look amazing. Hopefully, I don't know if it's actually going to look amazing. I want to make it look good. The grass will be like this super, super like saturated and vibrant. Okay, and then I made the grass here. Now just the little waterfall part. When I say waterfall, it's like two feet of water splashing down. It's not even that much. Okay, time to add some water in. And so this water matches this water more. I feel like we should just put the foil inside of the water. Would that like change the water what in the world it changed the water that is insane yep it literally looks almost identical it's so cool and what makes it look even more like a fairy tale and i guess fantasy too is if you add water inside of the light wait if you add light inside of the water how did that come out that wrong let's just add the cheapest light around even though we have 1.7 million uh still gotta be cheap oh not that bright not that bright and now at nighttime what does that look like whoa look at that water with the yeah we are doing that light for like a lot of the water that looks so cool we should just continue making this whole thing in the dark because that looks sick let's just make this in the dark now my plan is to make a bridge here and have like a lot of vines just all around it kind of like jack and the beanstalk i feel like that'd be so sick right it's just gonna be from this side all the way up to this side so this is basically making a loop right there and then maybe down here or something there's like a bad castle and there's like a dragon on it that would be kind of sick a dragon because you know like dragons are fantasy i mean fairy tale <laughs> 
Okay, guys, it is officially our number 10. This is kind of crazy. We're already on our 10, and we built this entire bridge. It took a couple tries because I couldn't get, like, this circle perfect. It turned out good at the end, I guess. I still don't know if I want to do the Jack and the Beanstalk thing because doesn't it just look good without the Beanstalk stuff just like that? I feel like for now we're going to keep it like that and then build stuff around it, but we might add the Jack and the Beanstalk later. What I do want to add is, since it's like a fairy tale thing, why not do some Rapunzel stuff? We're going to add the entire Rapunzel building. What's it called? The tower? Does it have a name? I don't know. The tower. That's what we're going to build. Let's do it. First, we got to set up all the terrain. This is going to be a little bit difficult, but we got this. Just all of the terrain I need to set up. Oh my goodness. This water is being difficult again. I can't remove the water. Usually, this little like red box will appear and I can like remove it, but look, it appears all the way over there, but like not where I want to delete the water. Oh my goodness, Dennis. We, we need this to be fixed, please. Oh, it's fixed. Apparently, there is a river right next to the Tingle Tower. I'm just gonna keep that river right there and not actually make an actual river or I could just make a super like fast flowing one with just water emitters We'll see. Let's just start making this thing We're not gonna make it humongous, but we are gonna make it detailed like I said So this is gonna be the structure and now we're gonna add an insane amount of detail Okay for now, this is what we have It's kind of covered by terrain because I need to build with platforms But this is what it looks like it looks a little janky, but from far away. It looks nice just from really close You can see the jankiness and yeah, we're not looking at that side. <laughs> I think it looks really nice so now let's make the part you actually like go inside of let's do it a roblox character could live in here it's big enough right there could be a little bed right here bathrooms like over here oh yeah you fall when you go to the bathroom okay this is actually looking kind of insane look look at this what i've done so far i've done this little base area and then all of these like vents things and right here's like the window that uh rapunzel kind of looks out like every day and then the roof we're almost done okay time for the roof the hardest part of this entire thing this is what one strip is gonna look like. We're gonna copy and paste that a crap ton of times. I don't even know what snapping I should do. 11.5. Look how many pieces just for one strip. And we're gonna make how many strips are we gonna place if we do 11.5? I don't know. However many that is. Please don't run into the item limit. Please don't run into the item limit. <gasps> Dang it, I knew it. I mean, from this angle, it looks nice. Yeah. Well, let's delete all of it, except the one strip, and then let's figure something out here. Oh, wait, we didn't run into the item limit this time. Let's go. Okay, well, that was easy. So we're basically done with the tower. We're gonna add just a couple more details, but it took a pretty long time of just trial and error, just getting things right. Like these bricks, I did a couple different versions of them because the bricks just did not look good. I had no idea what to do, but this one turned out pretty good. So I'm glad after so much we, we found what looks good we do have a couple more details to add though so i'm gonna do that real quick like the chimney right here and then there's a cone what in the world is this chimney and then the weird like brick things oh my goodness who designed this chimney okay so from close up you can see that it's wood and you know wood would like burn and it would not be a good idea to have wood as a chimney but from far away it looks nice so we're keeping it and there's this last little like super pointy thing at the top oh my goodness i need to get on this thing and not fall off there's a super pointy thing at the top that we need to make as well okay there's Here's the top thingy. Looks kind of strange, but I think, yeah, I kind of added to it pretty good. The tower is finally completely done. Now we just got to do all the scenery around it. Let's do this. Okay, so it took a little bit of time, but we, <laughs> we made something happen here. The terrain doesn't look that bad. It's just not perfect at all and it's super glitchy so we gotta fix like all of these glitches okay i think we're good and waterfall time we built all these rocks around and let's put the water down water all right so we kind of finished that area right there it looks pretty nice uh so i kind of like it right there so we finished basically all this now we just gotta fill in the space right here we can't make it look bad we gotta add some cool stuff I do want to add these rocks over here. Look, these rocks, I added like mossy stuff on top of the rocks. So I think I'm just going to copy and paste these over. I probably should have used the copy and paste tool for the rocks a little bit more, but I did not like this. Yep. And then one more, right? Where should I put it? I should put it all the way over here. So I think we're done with this area. If I have time, I'll add more stuff to this, but uh, I don't. So let's keep going over here. And now it's time to build the castle it's gonna be sick also totally didn't forget to put a waterfall right here much better what if i just make my own castle that wouldn't be so bad maybe it, it probably would be bad but we're gonna do it anyways i'm gonna make up a random castle out of my own brain that's gonna be a first
Okay, I have a pretty good idea. So the bridge is going to be like a brick bridge to the castle. It's going to start kind of over here, but it's going to be like super steep and it's going to go all the way up in this mountain that I'm going to build. It's going to be kind of crazy. So let's build the mountain. And maybe inside we could even have some kind of attraction like we could have a flat ride inside of this castle maybe we'll make these paths bigger because i feel like they just need to be bigger so let's just extend this path and make it a lot bigger honestly it'd be kind of sick to have like the spiral ride inside of the castle that would be so cool but what would make the most sense is like the teacups right i think the teacups would be the best like right there okay now i finished all of the terrain kind of like we're gonna add more to it later but that's kind of the base of it so let's just make the castle we're gonna go crazy with this castle super complicated roof done if somebody falls on that they'll go straight through it all the way to the bottom okay we got a structure going on it's not a castle not yet but it's a structure definitely it looks like the Disney castle but like it looks nice right I think it looks nice from far away all right guys so we finished the castle and we're starting this new area but I just remembered we have a dark ride to build and I don't think we even have enough time to build this freaking dark ride. How did the time go by so fast? I don't know. But basically, we're going to be making just this entire area and then moving on to the next section just because I'm worried about our time because I also want the next section to be detailed. I don't want to just leave the next section to be not detailed at all. Wait, technically, wait, wait, wait. We do have a dark ride. Inside the castle, there's the teacups. It's in the dark. Yeah, maybe that might not be considered a dark ride, but it's okay. This castle is super detailed and stuff so i think we spent our time well on this castle so let's just start building this entire village area maybe i should just stop adding like so much details to everything i build those tiny details is literally what takes away from all my time why did i have to make the roof not just a cone but like this entire curvy thing right here so my first little house that i'm gonna build is going to be a really cool house and honestly i'd rather build super detailed stuff outside than just everything enclosed in a dark ride hmm i think i'm gonna put it right here so we're gonna make it a little bigger actually a little smaller smaller a little taller okay it's gonna be right there this is gonna be the house time to add some detail okay so basically this one's gonna have a couple cones on top and it's gonna be kind of a cool styled house so y'all are gonna see how cool this house is gonna be what the heck it looks like a freaking christmas tree but it'll be better i think okay uh maybe not that does not look good no we're gonna keep striving we're gonna just keep building this and see if it ever turns out good maybe someday I have hope for this to turn out good. Someday, some year. No, we're scratching this one. No, no, no. We need something way better. Okay, I have an idea for a house. This one's gonna be better, I promise you. Okay, two-story building right there. Boom, we're done. Next building. I'm just kidding. Oh my goodness. Why do I do this to myself, honestly? There is no reason to be placing like 12 pieces per every little side of the roof but only in the kizzy video looking good okay this house is not gonna be bad oh this is looking nice i'm pretty sure this is the whole house i mean it looks nice i don't think it needs a lot more detail than this oh actually yes one last thing here just this little thingy thing at the top okay now let's build another house uh we probably need like a couple right here in the middle i'm practically finished with this i might add a couple like random lights in the path look how tiny these baby lights are they're so tiny okay i think this village ended up pretty good look at this so i'm gonna give you a little tour of this village so first you have the first bridge and then the second bridge and then the house we made together and then the cooler version of it well no i actually like this one better then we have the two weird castle things i don't even know why i put this castle thing in the back i just just deal with it and then this really cool house this is my favorite house by far look at that thing it looks so sick so i added a ton of detail i added a ton of stuff and i think we're done with this little village right here it looks kind of nice I like it. I like it. So now we're going to move on to the entire next area. Well, we should probably decorate this back. No, let's just move on to the next area. Okay, time for area number three. Area number three area number three i really hope it's a roller coaster but if it's not it's whatever it's okay here we go time to spin this stupid freaking wheel oh my goodness this wheel sucks i'm just kidding it's given us some pretty cool themes so i'm excited to see what else we have to build what the heck why is willy wonka still on there what i already built that no more willy wonka that's better we're gonna hide this and we're just gonna start with the theme okay please don't be something bad <gasps> scarier holiday it's 
a holiday theme park. Okay, so the holiday theme park, I think I'm just gonna choose Halloween. Should we just choose Halloween? I feel like that would be sick. I feel like for holiday theme park, we should just choose a random holiday or multiple. And I think we're gonna choose Halloween. Now I'm going to be choosing the attraction that's gonna go with the holiday theme. All right, what are we gonna get for this thing? coaster water ride a water ride whoa okay so we're gonna get a water ride didn't want a water ride i really wanted a roller coaster but i guess water ride also works so we're gonna do water ride and then whatever holiday i pick i could do halloween which i mean it's the closest holiday i think so i think we should probably do that one should we do that yeah let's do it so we're gonna build a halloween themed water ride and the main theme is going to be the water ride like we're not going to have a ton of like huge villages and stuff it's going to just be mainly the water ride so i think for the water ride we should just start right off the bat building the water ride we haven't done that strategy yet so let's do it all right so there's splash boats that we could do we could do river rapids i think i'm gonna choose to do the water coaster because it is just the freaking coolest or the log flume wait a minute i don't even know what to choose anymore wait the river rapids wouldn't be bad either oh my goodness why can I not just make up my mind? Let's just do the splash boats because they're it's like huge. It's so clunky and we have so much space. So let's just do that. Okay, so we're going to enter here. There's going to be just a simple Halloween village because we don't have a ton of time left. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I actually do want the log ride. I just feel like it'll fit in with the Halloween theme just a little bit better. So log flume it is. Let's do the plot. No, custom design. We're not doing one of their weird designs that they make for us. That's just so cheap. And I think I'm going to start it about right here. Yep, I, I chose it to be there. We're starting right there. Let's remove some of this so then we can actually have the log kind of like roaming around over here. So we're going to have a river going this way. Then we're going to have, oh my goodness, we really just left a tiny little island right there for the people. But it's going to go this way. We're going to have a river going like this. We're going to have it go like this. We're going to have a river go all around here. Oh, wow. Uh, this is not good. There's going to be a river all around here. And um, <laughs> I should probably stop placing some water. This is a lot of water. Okay, I think we're good there. That's enough water, right? <laughs> yeah, that's enough water. Okay, let's test this. I don't know if this is too deep. Like, will it be like half in the water? Is that too deep? Yeah, it kind of is too deep. We'll make it just a little bit taller than that. Okay, maybe this is a good height. Maybe, maybe, please. Ooh, that is a perfect height. Okay, yep. That's the one. Oh, now they're just all exploding. Please don't explode. Oh it exploded so first we're gonna go like this what the heck should we do that yep okay we're doing that i accidentally did it at first but now we're just actually doing it so then we're gonna go in a circle right here just a little loop-de-loop -loop. little loop right there kind of like that and then we're gonna start going up the chain lift we need a chain lift piece for this oh yeah pretty big chain lift not super big yet i'm so confused what am i supposed to place right here a start of a drop no a drop no a drop end no a normal one what in the world am i supposed to put there oh it is a drop start it just you, you gotta get the right position for it okay that was super complicated but we're back and we're gonna do some swervies just just these swervies to the side we're gonna swerve this way and then swerve that way <laughs> so people don't get bored on the ride and then we're gonna have our first drop right here because usually log flumes actually have like multiple drops so I'm pretty sure we have to do a lift hill start first. I don't even know at this point. What the heck? Do we do a lift hill first? I swear we did a lift hill first. I am having so many problems with this. It's taking me way too long just to make the log flume track. Oh my goodness. What is this? I'm pretty sure we're supposed to do a lift hill start and then like drop after that. But it's not cooperating with me right now. Bro, please cooperate with me. Just all you have to do is follow what I want you to do. <laughs> No, I don't know what to do. What do I do? What the heck? Why isn't the lift hill start doing its job? Okay, I think I finally figured out how to do it. Please, it please work. Oh, it works. It works. The lift hill start is actually starting a lift hill. Okay, so there's the first little dropity drop drop. It looks pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna go over here, just do a little more swerviness. And then second lift hill for the big drop at the end. Here we go. Look how big this lift hill's gonna be. It's huge. And then we're just gonna kind of roam around up here until we do 
the humongous drop at the end. Okay, here we go, fellas. I don't even know where to make this big drop, but we're gonna make it soon, I think. How about we do it just facing toward that way over there? Okay, here we go. Here's the drop. Okay, okay, little lift hill first. And then drop way down. Oh, that's too steep. That is way too steep. Not that steep. That is still too steep. What is wrong with me? Why am I making it so steep? Oh my goodness. Okay, that is way better. Look at that. That is what I wanted. Just like that. That is beautiful right there. Oh, a uh, little problem. The other side is right here. So we have to rebuild this whole thing. No. You know what? I don't have to delete nothing. Well, maybe a little bit of stuff, but I'm going to figure it out i'm gonna see what i can do so that this piece will connect to this piece really easily okay guys i think i have the solution so this is not gonna go like this oh not like that no like this to the left this might interfere with the water show though which kind of sucks so i guess we'll just have to avoid this area or maybe we'll just scooch the whole drop just a little bit back and it'll all be better and then back to the star and it doesn't let me put it to the star oh shoot oh there we go no it's not letting me do it. Why is the drop not working? Oh, oh, it worked. It worked. Please connect. Yes, it connected. We finally figured it out. Oh my goodness. That was almost not even worth it. Why did I do that? Okay, we're going to test this son of a gun out. Let's do this. Testing mode. Okay, it's time for the first lift hill. And then the first tiny little drop. Oh, yeah. And then the second lift tail, and then boom! Look at this humongous drop! Whoa! Just kidding, it was not that humongous. This is a humongous lift tail, though. Oh my goodness, this thing is huge! Okay, here's the big end drop. And then there's literally like the second half of the ride after the drop because it's so long. But look at this. Here we go! Whoa! Let's go. Okay, and then basically just a ton of slow stuff that I'm never going to show in my life because it's so boring. So let's just start decorating the heck out of this. We're going to basically come over here. We're going to make like a bridge, hopefully right here, and then like just some houses. We'll make like a really big like scary house. And then right here, I was planning on making a mountain and then like a really scary like castle at the top. That's going to be sick. So let's do this. Okay, guys, so I started the area a little bit. So this is like the path for it. And then I built a little bridge right here. So let's just keep building the path and stuff. And then we got to start making these spooky village houses as well. Okay, and how about we make a fountain right here and then just a big circle around it, just like paths around it. I think that'd be cool. We haven't done that yet. So let's do it. Okay, you know what? That looks kind of kind of nice. I like that. Um, I think it turned out not too bad. We might fix it later if we have time. Let's just keep going, though. We got to start with all of the houses. I kind of want to start with the station. I don't even know what the station is going to look like, but it's going to look kind of cool. So let's just start kind of designing some houses and stuff to put in this Halloween area. And I just want to start decorating this place. And we're going to make all of the terrain again. Just like we made terrain all here, we're going to make some terrain over here as well. We'll make this grass like almost gray like that yeah okay so i made a lot of the terrain you know i had to make it really perfect to have very minimal creases like this it looks pretty decent the one part i didn't fix was this right here oh actually i should probably fix it but i have this cool effect that i didn't even do on purpose look at that the water there's like random water like seeping through it because it barely is like low enough for that water to be there i honestly kind of like it i think it looks kind of weird and cool and halloweeny so we're gonna keep it there so now it's actually time to build the buildings and stuff so let's just get right to it i think what we should do is make this entire place like a cemetery and then make this entire place like more of a village there's the tombstone what should i add on here i should say i should put like a ton of youtubers names so first it's gonna be kizzy please work yes and next we're going to put a little more forward like right there Let's put, we're going to put Kosi here. Kosi is dead now. Is that how you spell Kosi? Is it two S's or two I's? I don't even know anymore. Let's just keep it there. Okay, I think Malaboomer's next right here. There we go. Malaboomer died. And then let's do one more. What should we do? Should we do Benny's Adventures? I think we should. Boom. Benny's Adventures died as well. Am I, I feel like I'm missing somebody. Who am I missing? Ooh, and we should totally add like those super creepy, like crooked, broken graveyard like fences. They look like this. They have this pointy little thing up here and then they have just, you know, the 
the fence part the pole okay let's make a ton of these these are even more broken and crooked than the ones we just built look at that what is that yeah like that okay now just like uh crap ton more okay guys so i finished basically the graveyard part of it it looks pretty nice and so now we're gonna move on to the more villagey part of it and then right here is going to be the entrance of the ride so like right here it'll enter and then there'll be a queue and then that's the entrance of the ride and yeah okay here's our first house so let's grab a primitive and just make it bigger and then there's a the little door for the ride okay what else let's just start making this house okay now it's time for the second facade right here so we're just gonna build something here yay okay it's looking good obviously these aren't like the actual colors it's not gonna look like this but basically this is the structure we just gotta make the roof and windows i think yeah okay so it looks super bad but once i paint it this thing will look immaculate it'll look amazing okay so this is the before before i paint it i'm gonna paint it and you're gonna see how much better it's gonna look see with it being painted it looks amazing look at that oh the door i forgot about the door what if i make the door like green that would be actually kind of funny like that oh yeah that actually looks pretty sick so that is the building right there i should probably uh make some walls around it all right now let's paint the last piece that i totally forgot to paint and now let's just make this ride look mega cool just just super cool okay like 20 rocks later we're we're making some progress this is actually looking kind of cool it's gonna like be isolated after the first little part so it's a cemetery for the first part and then over here you're just kind of like isolated you like see nothing else so basically this is gonna be the graveyard but like a weird twisted version of it and then this blue light right here will make it like synchronized to random music that's playing in the background so it'll be like kind of scary we're just gonna keep going with the rocks forever and ever i'm never gonna stop with the rocks also if you still remember my little rock theme song from last part y'all should keep spamming that in the chat because only the real ones will remember the rock theme song forever and ever now basically looking at all this it just looks like the cemetery was like half flooded so i mean that's what i'm going for now it's flooded yeah that looks so nice okay let's see what this looks like in the dark time now oh that looks amazing that looks so cool dang i thought i was just like piecing random stuff together to make it look okay but no this looks kind of sick i'm not gonna lie okay let's just keep making this ride okay like a hundred rocks later we have the cave basically done look at this okay i played place like another hundred rocks here we go we're gonna start building the castle really soon because we're building a lot of rocks around here what was the theme song of me placing rocks again i totally forgot it is he's placing rocks he's so cool because he places rocks and he rocks something like that okay i think it's finally time for the castle because look we're basically done with the rocks of this mountain i'm gonna save you some time um i, I know you're, you're probably getting bored watching me just build primitive after primitive let's just skip to when we're like mostly done with this entire castle okay everybody i finished it it took a uh, crap ton of little buildings but we finally finished it i made sure to make everything crooked like literally everything has like extra primitives on the sides like this right here as an extra primitive to make it look extra crooked so now let's just paint everything okay so now we just need the light coming out of all of the windows so let's just get a light looking freaking good i think i might be done with this area look at this so basically we have the entire cemetery area and then we go up a bridge and then it's the village so i copy and pasted this thing but i changed a ton of it as you can see this is the before this is like the first building and then i changed it a ton to look like this here's the inside of the cave so there's a lot of pumpkins and there's like a ton of these fences just like everywhere it's kind of scary kind of creepy not gonna lie anyways that's this entire area and now we can move on to making this show oh my goodness we're finally to the show and don't worry at the end i will give you a little pov of everything basically okay guys so i finished making all of the setup i didn't think the setup would take the majority of the time i have left but you know what it's okay the setup took that long this setup is kind of insane and it's gonna give us a really cool firework show first we have the entire front row so we have this entire row of just like straight up did i say firework show i meant water show there's the first row of just straight up water emitters with a light each like this and then there are two right here sets of like some fan fireworks they're gonna be like just kind of like you know fans it's, it's what it looks like right there there's one set there and then another set right here with a light equipped with each of them and then there's my big circle that's the entire big circle you see right here each of the big circle ones have like five different water emitters for different directions and just angles and then they each also have a spotlight there's my medium circle and then there's my little circle right here it's not a circle it's literally just like 
a plus sign two medium ish sized circles one right here and then one on the other side and then i have the fans again i did more fans back here but these are gonna be bigger like they're gonna they're gonna be on a higher power so i think we're gonna finally just use this sequencer right here and start making an amazing show i'm not gonna do it to music because doing it to music is a whole different story we have zero time to make it with music all right so i did start doing some water stuff i'm gonna show you what i got so far but here's the gist of what i just barely made there's not a ton yet that's the big circle and then the little tiny circle and it's gonna like build up and then boom it's gonna start going crazy after that little build up okay guys so this is what i have so far in the show so let me show you what i got okay so there's the circle thingy thing we're gonna do way more stuff with that circle later but for now that's all we're gonna do for that one and then like the build up and fireworks boom fans going on and then these two are even gonna build up for an even bigger thing to happen after so there we go so i'm just gonna keep making the show keep making cool things and let's finish this thing before our timer runs out whoa i zoomed out of this thing and look how many items we literally have placed in this so yeah we're just copy and pasting all of these parts right here okay we copy and pasted them all the entire show is about 64 seconds long, which is, it's pretty good. So I think I'm basically done. Oh, I should probably make the button actually make the sequencers do their thing. Because there's two sequencers since we ran into the item limit. What the heck? We're going to add this one and then we're going to add this one as well. We are literally four minutes away from the 24 hours. And so I'm going to just do a little POV of the entire part. Just say we're done. Let's just go straight into the POV of this entire part, including the water show.